Hey, what's up, friends? Uh, I want to talk to you today about farming, a neighborhood. Incredibly awesome way to generate business. I have built an incredible farm in an area called Circle C in Austin, and it produces tons of sales for us. Here's how you do it. If you're interested in starting a farm, one thing I have to tell you is it could take you up to five years to really see the fruits of a farm if you do it the way that every other agent out there tries to do it, which is just sending out a marketing piece for uh, potentially, let's say, eight times over eight weeks and then, um, and then just another piece every single month or advertising in the newsletter, okay? That's, that's the easy way to do it, but you will not see the fruits or the benefits. Uh, Okay, so how do you really build a productive, amazing farm that can produce you at least 30, 40 listings a year? First, number one step is to pick an area with at least 50 sales. So what you want to do is you want to go into your multiple listing service and find an area that has at least 50 sales. And if you can, like for instance, my farm in Circle C is about 300 sales a year. So if I can pick up 20% of that market from my farming efforts, that's 60 sales, that's significant. If you have an area where there's 10 sales in a year and you pick up 20% of that market, which is pretty good, that's only two sales. So you wanna pick an area where there's at least 50 sales, where it's gonna produce a significant amount of business from your efforts, okay? That's step number one. Step number two, if you wanna start a farm don't wait to start marketing it. Start it today. Start it today and you can do this by getting your name out. The whole point of starting a farm is to get your name out into the community as a local expert on that area. And the way that you do that is go and pull all, every single expired listing for the past three years or the past five years or the past 10 years and start systematically calling every single one of those expired listings. And the script I would use would be this. Hey Jim, Chad Goldwasser, Goldwasser Real Estate. I was doing some market research on your area and I noticed that you had pulled your home off the market. I was curious, did you ever sell the home? Their answer will be yes or no. <laughs> if the answer is no, then you say, well, have you thought about selling your home again? I happen to specialize in your area of town and I work with a lot of people whose homes have failed to sell with a traditional real estate agent. Okay, simple script. Get in there, start doing this over and over and over again, and you'll find that you'll get some appointments. And then once you get an appointment and you get a listing, your first listing in that area, that farm area that you're gonna dominate, hold massive open houses, massive open houses. What I mean by that is when I got my first listing in Circle C, Whitestone Home, it was the day before Thanksgiving, I put it on the market, I had uh, pre-marketed it for two weeks prior, I followed my system, and then I pre-marketed it for two weeks, I had my sign out, I started marketing that open house, I called a bunch of the neighbors in the area, then the day of the open house, I put out about 20 signs. I mean, I put them all over the place and I drove tons of traffic to that open house. Tons of traffic. I was prepared. I knew the rest of the homes on the market in the area. I had previewed. I had everything ready to go. I had my scripts ready. I had a sign-in book that I was gonna get to know these people and get them to sign in so that I could follow up with them later. And the open house was massive. It was awesome. And I had a ton of people through. I ended up selling that house actually, and uh, it actually had sold the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I put it on the market that day, I sold it that night, but I still held the open house. And it was a massive open house. And I got a ton of people there. And from that, I got another listing. And I did the same thing, I held another massive open house. Okay. Now as you're building this and growing this farm, you do want to start with some marketing and do what we call an eight by eight or eight pieces over eight weeks. And the reason you want to do this is because after eight weeks, people are going to know you. They're going to have heard your name. They're going to have seen your face and they're going to think of you as the local expert. And that's what you want. 
There was a study done by the National Association of Realtors, and what they did is they went into an area and they said, who is the top agent in this area? They did a survey. They got all kinds of different responses back. And then they went in and they did a mailing eight times over eight weeks with a fictitious agent. And after that eight week period, they went back in and they did another survey and they said, who's the top agent? And guess who it was? 90% of the surveyed people came back and said, the fictitious agent. So this is part of the branding of you. You want to do an eight by eight and we have an awesome marketing system that will brand you as the local expert and it, it will capture people's attention uh, but eight times over eight weeks consistently and as you're doing that my suggestion door knock door knock the area get out I mean if you if you really want to see the results now this is why I said this is <laughs> this is not to just produce a farm this is to produce a massively productive farm okay massively productive go out and door knock what I did was, after I started marketing, um, I called every single person in that neighborhood through the tax records, and it was about 400 people when I first started, and uh, started calling them, and I talked to probably about 70% of the people, and then if I didn't get them on the phone, I, I ended up not leaving a message, and then I called back and tried the three times to call them, and if I didn't, by the third time call them, I left them a message. And then... I got out and I door knocked and I started to meet people and say hello, hey, I'm Chad Goldwasser, uh, Goldwasser Real Estate, and um, I brought an item of value. So it was a little bit, little piece, a uh, little magnet and a little piece on the neighborhood that gave the market statistics and said, hey, Chad Goldwasser, Goldwasser Real Estate, I live in this area, I work in this area, and I would love to work here more, and I just want to let you know if you ever need to buy or sell real estate, give me a chance. I had great response. People love talking to me, and it went beautifully. So door knock, phone call, eight by eight, pick an area with at least 50 sales. Don't wait for the marketing. Call the expires. Hold massive open houses. Start your eight by eight, door knock, and then finally network that area and get involved. Once I was living in Circle C, I started getting to know more and more people, creating connections with them, building a strong network. Then I started getting involved. My wife got involved in a mom's group and we met a lot of people through there. Uh, I got involved with the father's group and we started meeting people through there. And more and more, I became the person of choice for people in that area. And then I got involved with the community. I started a partners in education program where a portion of each commission from each sale that I made in that area went to the local schools. People love that. Then we started advertising in the newsletter supplemental um, that's something you're going to want to keep up we started doing a newsletter to that area where people heard from us once a month um, and that was the sustaining of it now I know tons of people there I'm involved in the community anytime there's a community event I get involved whether it's the uh, neighborhood barbecue it's the um, movie nights whatever it is get involved in the community become someone that people look to to, as a community leader, as someone that gives back, as someone that cares, and you're going to see amazing results. But if all you do is go out and send out a piece of mail, you're not going to see the results. You're not going to see the productivity. You're not going to see the sales. That's the way that a typical or traditional real estate agent will do it. If you want to see results, Follow this system, get to work, do the hard stuff, get involved in the community. That's what will make it happen. And I can tell you, Circle C for me now produces a ton of business, probably between 60 to 100 sales a year. You can do that too, but you've got to get on it, get focused and create your system and then follow it. Go do it. Have an awesome day. Thanks.